Hey everyone, I'm back after a lengthy absence with a new video and a new camera, finally in HD. So if you would like to see how I use the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner for my wash and go in crisp, clear quality, then let's begin. So today is my wash day and the day prior I pre-pooed with coconut oil and my Tresemme Naturals Conditioner and put my hair in twists. Here are the results after taking down the twists. After I've co-washed my hair, I put my hair in two twists, one on each side of my head. And from there, I work with one twist and create subsections. And I usually start on the left side of my head. So I take the twist apart, I grab a small section of hair, and then I clip the rest up. My hair is a little dry, so I'm going to spray some olive oil juice to dampen it. I used to use water, but I switched to aloe vera juice, and that's a whole different topic for another video. Um, but after I've dampened it to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner to my hair. And the conditioner smells so good, it smells tropical. And the best way I can describe the smell is pina colada. It smells so good. <laughs> and I'm gonna apply that to my hair by raking it through and smoothing it through. And this is how I usually apply products to my hair. I've also been trying what's called the praying method lately. And I like my hair to be nicely damp while I apply products so it won't frizz up. If it's a little frizzy, I'll get a little more product or olive oil juice and apply it to my hair until I'm happy with the results and like until the frizz goes down and all that good stuff. Um, the conditioner has nice slip, but when I applied it to my hair on some parts, it felt sticky. Um, so I've never felt that with my other Shea Moisture rinse out conditioners that I use as a leave-in. I feel on some sections I probably should have used a little more olive oil juice. Um, maybe that was the problem, I'm not sure, but I'll have to try it out again and, you know, test it and experiment. And I continue and repeat the steps. I get a smaller section from the bigger section, clip the rest up. If the hair is a little dry, spray some olive oil juice. And after, I apply the conditioner by raking it and smoothing it through my hair. And here's me showing you how I do the praying method. It's just gliding your hands from top to bottom on your hair. I also like to apply a little product on the roots. When I'm finished with all of my hair on one side of my head, I smooth the product that's already on my hair further. Then I divide the hair in two parts and make two twists, one in the front, one in the back. I like to deep condition it with the product I use for my wash and go because the products I use are moisturizing and at the same time it saves time. I don't have to go wash it out and apply products again for my wash and go. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and do the same process on the other side of my hand. Here's a clip of me showing how I apply the product. Sometimes for me, it's not a quick thing. Just apply the product and move on. I don't, I don't do that. I like to make sure it's through that whole section and nothing is perfect, but I try to make sure it's through as much hair as possible while still giving me the definition I like. 
because if you try to mess with it a lot it can frizz up that's why you do apply more water or more product and things like that but I like to smooth it through as much as possible because I want to make sure it's through as much of my hair as possible so my hair can be moisturized and not dry I don't want to miss anything I want to give all my hair all the same love and once again when I'm done doing subtextions and I apply aloe vera juice and product to my hair I create two twists from that hair on that side Next is time for a plastic cap and I like to put on a bonnet as well to help trap more heat. After a few hours of deep conditioning, I take apart the twist gently, one by one. Since my hair is still wet, my hair hasn't set into a twist, so the curls are still going to be my natural curl pattern. Um, and once all the twists have been taken down, I like to uh, let my hair air dry. And that's all um, and I take it down really gently because it is wet and you know you don't want to touch your hair when it's uh, wet because it can cause frizziness and all that kind of stuff My hair was soft, bouncy, and nicely defined. When I do my wash and goes, I always just use conditioner. And since it's the summer and there's so much heat and humidity, I probably could have gotten better results and definition by using a gel on top of the conditioner. I will have to try that and see how that works. Here's more video of my curls and definition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.